Hello my blue crew, welcome to another episode of TBL in my kitchen, Mexican, yes, today we're going to be mix making cochinita pibil, which is a very authentic dish from South of Mexico from Yucatan, and I'm going to show you how we're going to make it, it's going to be super delicious for our cookout today. This is pork loin that I am cutting into cubes for tomorrow. And what are we cooking tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to be making tacos of, it's called cochinita pibil, which literally translates to little pig. And pibil is the name of the style of the dish that comes from South Mexico, from the state of Yucatan. And it's going to be delicious. So we're doing the prepping today. So we'll get you however many people you're going to feed. Some poor tenderloin shoulder and cut it into cubes. And we're going to season it in just a bit. I am squeezing the juice of four oranges to mix with the spices. So after you mix your orange juice, we're going to mix the important part. And that's it until I finish with the oranges. All right. Now what we got going on here. Okay, next this is the important part. This is called a chiote paste. which is made of chilies and spices. You're going to need about 200 grams and you're going to put it in your orange juice. In your orange juice? Yes, in the freshly squeezed orange juice that you just got from the orange. It smells good. And this one was imported directly from south of Mexico from the state of Yucatan. Yucatan. Is that the same as the Yucatan Peninsula? Yes. That is exactly right. And it's like a clay type thing. You can find this at Walmart. I've never seen at, it before or heard of it. This is because it's a very specific Mexican plate. This seasoning almost, it, it's almost nobody knows it. Say what it is again. Achiote. And that is? That is our cubed pork loin that we are going to use this marinade to put in the pork here in just a minute. Okay, and what else you got going on here? We're going to put um, two tablespoons of minced garlic, pinch of oregano, cinnamon, chicken bouillon, which is kind of like salt, and a dash of cumin. And some pepper, of course. And some pepper. And that's it. Sometimes this is the hard part, making sure that everything is dissolved into the marinade. I like garlic, so right now we're just dissolving the red paste onto the orange, ju uh, orange juice. I can't talk. It's late. And the rest of the spices. And you want to do this the night before because the longer you marinate it, the more delicious it's going to be. So we'll be back soon. All right. All right. Next scene, what we got? All right. Once you have your paste mostly dissolved. That looks pretty dissolved. In your bowl. Yes, this is going to look a little weird. Tell because me what all's in that bowl. It's going to be cumin, oregano, a little bit of cinnamon, chicken bouillon, the achiote paste, half a cup of vinegar, and the juice of four oranges. So we're going to divide our pork in half because we want to make sure we have enough marinade everywhere to coat it. Jugo de cuatro naranjas. Put some pepper. Do not wear white if you make this I'm dish. I'm wearing white. I got my white sweatshirt on, thin blue lane. You will see why in just a second. Okay, so we put some of the marinade. Move the meat around a bit. So 
All the way it gets coated. See, you can it paints for the rest of your um, pork and pour the rest of your marinade. So meticulous. And then that's it. Just let it marinate, put it in the fridge overnight. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna get this out. And then I will show you guys what the next step is going to be. Let's put a little bit of pepper. I love pepper. There we go. And in the fridge it goes. All right, what we got now? Okay, the tacos are gonna be accompanied by a onion, yes, half an onion. Finely sliced, as you can see, and same with the habaneros. I'm doing six habaneros because I like it spicy. A little bit of oregano. And this is all it is. Habanero, onions, oregano, and vinegar. White vinegar. And what does the vinegar do? The vinegar preserves the sauce, and it kind of pickles it, and it... Well, they say it kind of draws down the heat a little of the habanero, but that might not necessarily be true. So just enough to cover it. That's red onion. And then just stir it, cover it, and leave it overnight. And until tomorrow, we'll start all over again. Habaneros. Look at that. There's the evidence right there. That's in there. Mm-mm-mm. Good morning. How are you this morning? I am good. I'm wearing Mexican dress because we're making Mexican today. All of this is hand stitched. Wow, it's beautiful. All right, here we have our pork that has been marinating all oh, night. Oh, oh, oh. Our pork loin. Oh, 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 look at this, guys. This is just 1080p, but wow. This you're going to pre-prep the day before. I'm going to include this in the video. I'm just showing you what it's going to look like after you take it out of the fridge. I don't have a container that's big enough to put it in, so we're going to use two. This is what makes the dish also delicious. One of the things that make this dish is, look at this guys. You might not be able to find this. What the heck is that? I, your, I thought that was a tablecloth. At your local store, but these are banana leaves from the banana tree. Yes, banana leaves. And you are going to need these to make this dish. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, dish. You're going to wrap your pork in this, and this is how it's going to cook. It's going to go in the dish like so. However, since the leaf, it's a little sturdy and it might break when you put it on the dish, here's what you're going to do. Grab your banana leaf. I know, this looks totally weird, but trust me, it works. See how it, the leaf is changing colors? On the green. So you put it on Ooh. the... Yeah, see, you put it on the fire and I you should see have filmed that in high res. How your leaf is changing colors. Whoops. This is how your leaf catches on fire. <laughs> and you do this so the leaf becomes more pliable to put it on your dish. Please use adult supervision yes. when performing this task. And then I really do need a bigger dish, but we all know that RV ovens are not as big as I would like them to be. Oh, so now we're gonna scoop our pork in there. One of the main ingredients is the achiote paste. And it's a seasoning, and what the achiote paste is based off, it's got anato seed cornmeal, salt, garlic, 
spices, vinegar, and um, crushed chili peppers. And depending what region of Mexico, the achiote can be different. Like barbecue sauce is different in Tennessee and Texas. I'm gonna scoop our pork and put it in the leaves. This is the hard part sometimes. I don't wanna stick my hands in there. It is very stainy because of the chili paste. So I would not recommend wearing white with this because you will never get the stain out. I'm just lining the pan just to make things easier for me. Two separate interview mics for the first time, actually using them in a video. Yeah, we'll have to see how this sound comes out. And we're going to go run these by the fire too. You will see the changing colors of the leaf. See right there? It changes colors. You don't have to do it a lot, just enough to be able to ply the banana leaves. I can smell it burning. Funnily, I would figure it would smell like bananas. It's been a while since I've done this. All right. And you're just going to line this because you're going to wrap your pork in this make like a little well and just like we did with this one and we're gonna scoop the pork onto here now like i said you guys can use a whole dish and put this together and make it that way or you can use two dishes i have to use two because my oven is not so big another thing you can do is if you don't want to do it in the oven you can also do it in your crock pot yes your crock pot just put your banana leaves lining the crock pot put your meat in there and put it on low let it cook all night 10 to 12 hours if it's on low this one i have the oven at 350 or 355 and we're going to put these in there for about three hours and what you want is once you check it your pork should just fall apart with a fork you shouldn't have to use a knife or anything to cut it, it should just fall apart and be tender and the spices will cook with it and you will start smelling the deliciousness this is a very mexican specific this is authentic yucatan mexican from this yes from the state of yucatan this is as authentic as you get i know i keep saying authentic but being from texas there are some places that like to do the tex-mex that sometimes i don't like well, what I don't like is they advertise Mexican when it's not Mexican, it's Tex-Mex. If you go do Tex-Mex, more power to you, just advertise Tex-Mex. Don't tell me it's Mexican. And yes, I will ask if the cook is Mexican. I have before. Now, if you have any left, put it on top of your meat. All right, now that we have our pork in our containers, you're going to wrap it kind of like tamales wrap it like this and what this is going to do is going to let your pork steam and get nice and delicious wow on here i'm gonna have to stack these i'm gonna show you guys because i am cooking for a lot of people today it's gonna be us i have some family coming over and uh our content creator friends out there the traveling pisces might also come over for tacos so Fold it over, it's usually the best. Tuck in the sides. Fold it over, tuck in your oh, you ain't sides. Funny. It's the real deal. That's right, this is the real deal. Now you don't absolutely have to use the banana leaves. However, this is how the authentic Mexican recipe goes. You have to have the banana leaves because if the banana leaves gives it a very special flavor and it also keeps it moist and delicious. Where did you learn all this from? I learned this from my grandmother and also um, self-taught and this has always been one of my favorite Mexican dishes. This, this pulled 
pork. I guess you could call it pulled pork Mexican style. It is absolutely delicious. Ooh, wait till pulled pork barbecue sees this. The, oh, that's right. Pull my pork barbecue. That's yeah, right. check this out. Wait. We're going to put this one right here. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do have to make sure that you cover all of your pork to make sure that it comes out delicious. This is the hardest part, trying to make sure that you cover it in the leaves are all the way in there the way they're supposed to be <laughs> now i have to get these in the oven and since i cannot put these together at the same time because my oven it's kind of small cooking in an rv ladies and gentlemen Kick now here's the trick if you need to double stack in your oven check this out cookie sheet i like this pizza pan and this is how we're going to make it i'm going to put this one in the oven first we're going to stack this one, and then we're going to put this one oh, on the top. Oh, yeah, look at you. And now you can put both things in the oven. And you had to remove the tray in the oven, too. I had to lower it in the oven. It's a little heavy. All right. Good. We're going to check it in about three hours, lift the leaves a little bit, and make sure that the, uh, the pork is pulling apart, and also with this. You will see it also on the video. I pre-prepped. There's going to be a red onion habanero sauce that goes with this. I'm also going to be making refried beans with cheese. My mom is going to be bringing a Mexican cactus salad. Yes, I said cactus. I know you guys haven't tried it, but I will shoot some of that when she gets here so you can see. So we're going to go ahead and wait. For our pork to be done, we're going to set up outside and then I'm going to show you how you can host a Mexican barbecue outside. Good coffee in the morning. Hello kitty, don't play. All right, all right. That's, That's how right. we do up in That's here. That's right. We're going to have some Mexican and it's going to be delicious and you're going to like it. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna, wait, we, we need to take this uh, SIM card out. Oh, uh, wait. Y'all yo, 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 yo want to see... Come here. You want to see a sneak peek of my habanero sauce? Yes, yes I do. It made me cry last night, but it's going to be delicious. Look. Ooh, she's going to make my eyes water. Look at this, guys. This mm. is just sliced habanero, red onion, oregano, and white vinegar. And as you can see, I've left it overnight. You will see on the other video. And the vinegar has turned a little bit purple which is what you want that means that they are getting turn, I'm turn guessing. Again. so how many habaneros are in there i put six habaneros and half i thought you put like one you put six no in there? i put i put six habaneros and half of a red onion now this is the the salsa that goes with this particular dish i understand that a lot of people will not eat habaneros because they they are really really hot so you can substitute the red onion you can put jalapenos or whatever you want but this particular recipe calls for habaneros let's smell it oh my god that smells delicious let me see let me see let me see oh man i thought that was gonna burn my nose that's delicious well that's smell. why you if you leave it overnight it i'm not gonna say burns down the heat of the habanero a little bit because it's still spicy but it combines all the flavor the vinegar brings it all together especially if you soak it overnight on the next morning it brings out the flavors along with the oregano and it it's delicious it's delicious and you don't want to lick this bowl no we don't want to lick the bowl especially if it has pork in it food safety yeah, I'm not public gonna... service announcement if you're cooking pork cooking tips number one never cut your vegetables on the same cutting board where you cut your meat use a separate cutting board if you're doing the same one of the same cooking episode if you're cooking the meat wash it and then cut your vegetables or use a separate cutting board especially pork can carry a lot of bacteria and it has to be cooked at a certain temperature if you do not cook it at a certain temperature, you have a risk of getting sick. So always wash your hands, disinfect your surfaces if your poultry or any kind of meat touches it, and you'll be good to go.
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed Nancy's latest cooking video of her barbecue. I had to cut this into two parts because the second part is going to have the traveling Pisces in it with us all eating dinner and eating what we've made here. Uh, if you like what you saw, subscribe right here. I'd like you to watch one of these videos right here. Thank you. Have a great day.